What up, Chipper Chaps? It's Chipper Chap Chat, episode 98. 98. 98. We're so close to 100, dude. Uh -huh. We better do, like, hella backflips or something to celebrate. Uh, Animate some backflips. <clears throat> since the last time that we talked... Yes. Oh, by the way, I'm Fu Ray. I Look at how big my hand is. Champa? And, uh, and since the last episode, Defenders has come out. Mm. It is now 3 a.m., and we're going to talk about it. <laughs> this wasn't recorded, like, right after it. We no, yeah. had I watched it, like, the first half. Yeah, the right first night, when it aired, and, and then, then we watched the second half the next day. Uh, so, I mean, what were your thoughts on the other Defender shows going in, just as a recap? Recap? Daredevil's been excellent mm -hmm. both seasons. Um, I think that is the strongest show they have so far. Like, not by a lot, but still definitely consistently strong. Um, then we had um, Jessica Jones, was it? Yeah. First, and then Luke Cage. Yep. And both of those I enjoyed. And then uh, recently we had Iron Fist, which, while entertaining, very it lacked a lot of aspects. I think um, but then you know right after that obviously a couple of months after we got this yeah <laughs> um, it's been it's been a journey it doesn't feel I like it's been long pretty much agree on all the series uh, I really did enjoy Luke Cage quite a bit mm -hmm. loves the loved Cottonmouth in that mm -hmm. uh, Miranda Dillard I thought was good I wasn't as sold on the look of uh, Diamondback. Diamondback. Like, just when, just when they got to the like, he was granted like some people were turned off by him because he was like extra camped up. He was like fully black exploitation. He villain. was, to be honest. I think I would have preferred him just as he was without the suit. Right, right, right. That was just his like. He's actually just strong, but you know he can withstand. But they had to have like that weird the difference between. I get it. It where just the looked came from or silly. It did look silly, but they were basing it on the original. It. Not if, all things should be though. Right, right. It's right. kinda like kinda like his uh his blouse thing. Yeah. They made the reference. Yeah. Which was cool. Didn't necessarily need to keep it. So no. maybe like his first like test version could have looked like that. Right. And then later they like figure out a way not yeah, to yeah. use it or something. In something. any case, uh, I liked Luke Cage quite a bit. The music was crazy good. Cinematography uh, was really good. What about uh, Jessica Jones? Jessica Jones I really liked. Um, I remember that being kind of surprised by the flavor of Jessica Jones. Mm. I knew it was going to be different because I knew about the story beforehand. Right. Uh, but I've come to really enjoy Jessica Jones's character. Mm. I'm just not as sold on her secondary cast. Like, uh, I like the idea of Trish Walker. I friend. do, but I'm not convinced yet. Because yeah. if, if she was going to be Patsy Walker, yeah. the Hellcat character, yeah. then I'm like, that's cool. Yes, but nice, I But nice I don't up. feel like no. that's where we're necessarily headed. Like, not they've hinted her. at, like, her punch and stuff. Right. But it doesn't, this but show doesn't, the Hellcat. all the, all the shows on the Netflix universe mm -hmm. don't feel like like the CW version. You know I was how, just gonna say, like, you know it how, doesn't feel like Arrow and whatnot, where they will just get recruits, right? And like have your team. And it's now, like granted, man. when when Arrow and Flash started, right? They didn't do that. Of he course, was the only superpowered yes, yes. person. But for that the first couple seasons quick. or something. Yeah, like once yeah, they started season, though, boom. Yeah, once they started boom. on the other people have powers. Yep. Now there's like mm -hmm. several. And same thing with Arrow. Mm -hmm. So I I very much wonder if that will eventually work that way. Because we're starting yeah. to hint at things. Granted, okay, so we're going to talk spoilers. Yeah, this is, a spoiler we waited anyways, specifically yeah. so that you have time to have mm -hmm. watched it. If you're watching this now, it's a spoiler thing. So they did th things like Misty's arm, which they kind of hinted at in Luke Cage's series with her getting injured. She got shot Yeah, we thought, okay, that was nice because you... Uh, you basically just gave a thumbs up to the fans, right? But you're not gonna go through with it. Right, but right. I like that. It was a nice little Easter egg, mm -hmm. and that's it. You know, it definitely feels now like they're like, fuck it, we're gonna let's just do it because they they did the thing with like they got rid of her arm, obviously, and mm -hmm. then they said the thing like she was in a hospital at the end, and they're like, Danny Rand's uh, got connections here, 
and it's a state of the art mm-hmm. kind of place. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, so they're gonna hook state her up with, the, a, uh, with a bionic arm? But like, how state of the art? Like, do they shit? have? They don't have shield technology, do they? Uh, who who D- knows? does Danny have it's, access it's to still shield the Marvel tech? Universe. I understand that, but like, does he have access to shield slash stock tech? Maybe not, but there's other people who make I guess like Hammer. Like Hammer right. also does it. Suppose, AIM yeah, makes yeah, it. There's yeah, other right. organizations right. like, that have tech. They're just the ones that we're familiar with because right. that's who we follow. But like our world now, right? They there's also have companies. that. True. All right. Dang, that's crazy. Oscorp now yeah, might right, potentially cool. be one. That's, see, to me, Oscorp, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, so if they do that with her, that'd be really interesting. But I'm also like, as good as these shows look cinematography wise they don't do anything like way, way crazy again with like CW there's multiple characters that are showing powers like real shooting lightning and running across the city God's at super almost. speed you've right. got like the fire like there's none of that no. in Daredevil they don't like even in the even in the first season where they're like showing you what it looks like from his vision mm. the that's the main thing I did not like from the day series <laughs> was that sh- reveal of what his powers I'm glad they stopped like. showing that. they only showed it once yeah but I'm saying they like, only showed it once. I'm glad it's like that's all you need if you remember it differently cool that's fine because I'm like just like just if know they that he's a ninja he could do this some yeah. shots from the old Daredevil movie it would have been better <laughs> because I like how they showed it as yeah. like a sonar type of he didn't thing. think it would be though yeah but the, how they showed it in no. the Daredevil series it was just her head was flaming and I'm yeah. like that's what you see yeah. all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's like <laughs> that's awful. Not... I'm so sorry for you. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. that's not blind at all. Yeah. You're just seeing everything on fire. Like essentially, everything is hell. That's terrifying. Yeah. You don't know, but the thing is, you knew what it, what everything looked like before that. Right. Because this happened to you. It's just everything. So without everything after that, basically. yeah, just yeah, that's nuts. Uh, so I don't. Yeah, I very much didn't like that. But anyway, they don't show powers. Is what I'm getting at. So uh, the closest thing is like Iron Fist with his fist glowing. But that's but that's they could literally, literally put anything. something in yeah, his hand, uh-huh. like a bright ass LED uh-huh. light that does most of that work. I know. And then they just enhance it. I'm like they didn't they don't really show like Oh yeah, 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 like real powers like, happen. They show more in Shield. That's yeah, for sure. All all those shows. But I'm like, I know they spend money on these. They do, I and you know be, I th- you know I think weather mm. how it looks. For sure. I just wonder if they, if they, like, Defenders was an eight episode series. Most of the other Marvel Netflix things are 13. What if they just, they make Defenders one longer and they meet in the middle and just make them all 10 episode series mm. so that they can put more money into it and do something like, like the, the whole thing with, uh, uh, Stick's hand. Yeah. Cool. After he cut his own hand off, and you see just oh, the like cool. stump thing, it's like longer than. There was sleep. one scene though. Just remember one. how we, 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 we both of us were like, "Oh, oh it looks okay. It there. looks great there. Yeah. Like it looked like they it was meeting." It. And I was like, "Oh, that's where the budget went because <laughs> one for this though? one shot, like he, this character Stick, only had one effects." cost budget right right and it went to that scene that one yeah. scene because it was like on focus mm-hmm. other scenes it just was there right but it was so obvious i'm like couldn't they have just extended his sleeve or even purposely extended, hide it but like with blocking something but extend the sleeve even because right now the sleeves match yet what is this right. extra stump this hand stump that's sticking out and why did he even cut his hand off? I don't know. The thumb why not just because he's not just blind. Knee <laughs> maybe, his hand maybe against he the was pole. going for the thing. Don't going even for cut anything. Yeah, just crush your hand and then pull it through the no. thing. If you're willing to go through the pain of you cut your hand off, just mash all yeah. the bones. It's crazy though, because in his mind, it's like I'd rather cut it off than just think a little bit harder <sighs> of another way. It was just silly. Anyway. Going into the fenders, I was really excited, yeah. but I was a little bit hesitant because of Lost Iron, Fist. Was Iron Fist. But it was not because I thought, oh well, here goes the quality or anything mm-hmm. like that. I think it was just like not being sold on Danny Rand, and so it was instantly killing like a bit of excitement I had for seeing Iron Fist and Luke Cage next yeah. to each other. Uh, but anyway, going into it. I, they like spend the whole first episode basically just recapping mm-hmm. you on everybody else's seasons. Got like and an then, extension um, of each of those. 
And then uh, we were talking about the cool lighting stuff, Ooh. lighting cues. Like each character has a color. And yeah. They kind of use whoever the was lighting. whoever's in charge of that. And it's in defenders. Right. Ooh. It, it seems a like plus. Yeah, I really thought it was cool. It, a plus. it added to the kind yeah. of comic book stylization, mm-hmm. framing, the lighting. And you know it was interesting though because we were looking at it, and all the Daredevil shots red lighting. And we were talking about how in the Justice League trailer they have that whole scene where everything is red and somehow the, the red lighting in Daredevil, because you're in a place, it looks fine. <laughs> but when you're completely making everything red digitally after, it lo- it looks, yeah. looks bizarre. Yeah, because the thing is, in the actual filming of Daredevil, sure, they might have enhanced the redness, mm-hmm. but it actually existed. Right. Whereas... In um, Justice League, it seems like they filmed with neutral lighting and then tried to digitally change it right. to red, which is achievable. For but sure. it, for some reason, in this one, it just looked. It's also odd. because in Defenders, in you have real environments. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely yeah. helps. I mean, having CG backdrops, but it's anyway. hard. But. So I was pretty excited. Second episode, when you finally getting to see like people starting to meet mm. each other and stuff was really really neat i thought that luke and uh danny's rapport actually worked really it's well even when everyone, you see them right. first like yeah. fighting you would see Ooh. <laughs> when danny first clocks luke yeah and he I like, thought, goes flying yeah he flies he <laughs> flies hard mm-hmm. i didn't expect that i thought he was just gonna you know get the jaw effect and it's like oh shit right. no he's like nope out <laughs> out um great scene yeah. love that uh, loved seeing all the secondary characters show back up. Yep. It was odd seeing Foggy with the short hair, just because even like going back to seeing him from hell a long time ago. Oh yeah, she he has long, long hair. hair. I forgot. Like last season, his hair was had length. Yeah. Now it's just really neat. Yeah, they, that was the first time I've seen him, okay, even well. back since Mighty Ducks or something. That have really short, short hair, hair yeah. that I can remember anyway. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's cool seeing everybody. I, I thought there would be more lead-up to how Karen Page goes from Defenders <laughs> to Punisher. By the way, no Punisher. Kind of surprised by no, that. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with but it. But I'm still kind of surprised. I'm surprised, it. but I'm okay with it. I wasn't uh, actually expecting it. I wasn't expecting it either, but I, but I think that I was also expecting... Uh, a bigger s- spectacle for whatever mm. this mm. this mm. version of the thing was going to be. Not that it made me like like it less. Yeah. It's just what I was expecting mm. to happen mm. was going to be a much bigger thing. Because I'm like, the Avengers yeah. version of what it's this is. It's Avengers television. Right. And I and so I, I think I was like, okay, so now we're getting into like some serious spoiler stuff. So definitely, if you haven't watched it, you know, go. We're talking about the, yeah. the villain stuff now. Uh, so Sigourney Weaver, they have they build up her character as someone who is trying to gain immortality with, again, again because they have been using it for a long mm-hmm. time. They they They've apply over their resources. several methods that she's yes. all the shit because mm-hmm. she only likes record players that have the big, <laughs> the big bone yeah. or the big trombone thing the big on the end. Trombone, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> that type of music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no we shit. Old, old school stuff. Uh, and they, what else did they do to imply she was super old? Uh, yeah, lots like of that. like reference. Oh, the yeah. Istanbul. And yeah, they're yeah. like, I think you'd be close enough to know. No, it's though. like, nah. I know. Right. I said what I meant. <laughs> right. I said what I meant. Yeah. Um, all that. But kind yeah, of she's stuff supposed to be uh, in, in the head of the hand, like the main finger. Right. Pretty much. She's the middle finger. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but also. A bit confused because they said they had this whole thing about how one of the members of the Five Fingers died. Like he was gone. Mm. And it, it was implied very soon into the series that they were trying to get access to that fifth member is what it sounded like to me. Oh. I thought that the whole thing was leading up to they were like, We need Danny's fist to open up a thing. To get the He's fifth the member. key. Yeah, I thought uh, it was to get that fifth guy uh, back. Okay. And so it seemed weird and then uh they had the whole uh Electra thing mm. bring her back and now she's kind of like the she is the right hand man of Sigourney Weaver's yeah, yeah. She's like her weapon or whatever. 
Which is what the hand used their last resources. Right. To they used the last of their special the juice, their yeah. special immortality powder. juice. <laughs> immortality powder. Uh, which was all confusing too, because I definitely thought that juice that made Electra come back to life was supposed to be like the I blood thought it was of the those blood. kids. It was. Was it? It was it. I think that was part of it, but the actual juice was something to actually trigger it to work. I don't know. They didn't explain it. In the end, by the way, the juice is just dragon bone. Yeah, but and they okay, so they had the whole like uh, the the big confusing. circle thing from Daredevil season two, and he he goes up to the building where they're doing construction. There's just a big ass hole in the ground. He's like, "What's that shit about?" That's kind of weird. Mm. I guess we'll get to that later. And it turns out that they had been digging a giant hole down to find more dragon bones so that they could get a mortality juice out of them. And also the dragon bones are holding the city up. Something so if they destroy the dragon bones... Wait, is that why? There was something weird like that where if they... Because it was the center up, of the city, right? Right, that it would like... I don't know. So okay. basically, to some Shit things will go up, down. To sum things up for me, my opinion of the series, Depends. I liked pretty much everything, except for I don't understand what the villains really wanted, other than immortality, which they've already had, but lost, but and lost, want to get back. and like Danny, like super duper doesn't want them to be immortal anymore. Nah, he wants to, end even it. though they've already been immortal for a grip so they defeated multiple Danny's, if they're successful basically. in their plan to get the dragon bones at the bottom of the thing then it just basically makes it so like if danny just went and helped them and they didn't have to uh like do all the fighting and stuff that the whole series is based on then he just would have opened that stuff they would have gonna oh, oh sweet more dragon bone juice and, <laughs> and then Continued being immortal and nothing would have changed. They wouldn't have had to blow up the fucking. Uh, He's like, wait a second, guys. Just because you're immortal now, do you still want to go to Finland? And it's like, no, no. It's like, oh, it's like sure. no. We don't. We don't even need to go fight, kill all of that city. But they want to go home. That was their goal as well. Who the hand? Yeah. They to wanted to go home to where? To Kunlun. To Kunlun. They kept saying. Why didn't they go when they sent Electra there? That's to what I thought everyone? too. I don't know. Maybe because they couldn't. I don't know. That's why I was like, it's so confusing. basically, the villain plot stuff was a little weird to me, mm. and the bait and switch with Sigourney Weaver mm. was a little bit disappointing because mm. necessary. We hype just her up. there was so much hype around. Hype and, her up. And, you know, that's not their fault. No, it's not because they just said we're bringing Sigourney Weaver yeah. in. <clears throat> it was all these the other Comic Con reaction. Yeah, yeah. I watched when they brought her out on stage. People went nuts. People went absolutely fucking uh, ape shit. Mm -hmm. So now there's all this hype, and they're like, wow, holy shit, we must have made a really good call getting Scory Weaver to do this thing, because people went fucking bananas. And she's got to be, like, the most big-name actor other than maybe Kingpin, Vincent yeah, D'Onofrio. Yeah. But even oh, that, I'm like, she's higher. Weaver's no, higher no. than that. She's higher, higher than D'Onofrio. Yeah. D'Onofrio is dope as an actor. I'm, For I'm sure. not saying he's but not, I mean, but in as terms of yeah, renowned. Yes, in terms of, like, being known, I suppose. Right. Um, so, you know, it's for sure it's a big deal. But there was all this hype around, like, oh, she's going to be fucking Mephisto. Yeah, people were saying that. When I was like, mm, I don't know, like... And I'm like, Where is that coming from? to some degree, I'm like, hey, man, you said Iron Fist had a dragon in it. Yeah, I was thinking. That so you can Fist obviously, though, yeah. if you wanted to, do that. But um, at the same time, they said there's dragon in that fucking series. And in this series, there's dragons referenced. You ever see a fucking dragon? Even I see one bones. time? You ever see a dragon? I see no. the bones. That's it. Not even once. This dragon story. Now we've heard multiple times in this series that Danny. Killed the dragon, yes. pulled its heart out. Do you know why? Do you know why they can't show it? Because we've already seen, like, uh, the Game of Thrones dragon. So the fuck what? And it so looks amazing. the fuck what? They got a they got a giant oh, they got a giant buff shark play. man on the Flash. That's true. He looked look. He they looked get great. they get less the they get gets... less money per episode. What? The Flash does. 
because they have to do 24 episodes in a season rather than oh, yeah. 13. So think of it. One season but gets exactly the same budget then. Not exactly the same budget. I think Netflix still gets like, a, like a million bucks more for their series. Because they filmed the whole thing to look like a fucking movie and yeah, they filmed it okay, all at once. True. And that's why it costs that much. Um, so, you know, the series looks great, but we don't get any of that stuff. They no, got a I giant haven't. shark man on that shit. Giant, they got, a giant gorilla. They've had a the giant gorilla, gorilla, yeah. telepathic gorilla. Granted, some of the shit looks goofy mm. when you see Flash flying around in 3D and you're like, obviously... Yeah, yeah, he's that's Matrix. A, yeah. Yeah, it's Matrix style. <laughs> right, right. Everything is stuck. Right, it's like, it looks like a video game suddenly yeah. took but over. But it's pretty cool, you know. It's I'll give still it credit. cool, I'll give it credit. but I'm like, it doesn't have to be one or the other. No. There, there can be a happy medium, like S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. Shield does a lot of effect stuff, even in shot. Like they, they had that like, banshee guy that was like screaming, and all the yeah, birds yeah. died, and yeah. electricity power people. Yeah, yeah. Lots of shocks. You can do lots of shock stuff. stuff like that, especially because all of Daredevil and all the Netflix Marvel shows, they're all in fucking dark. Yeah. So it's so way it's... easier to do those kind of effects if they're all in fucking dark. It's just lights, and then you do the post shit, and then you're like, all right, cool, good to go. Looks good. Why, like why does Marvel's... I don't know. And, like, and I get it. They're like, but we want it to be, like, street level. But, you know, just like... You don't have to have them all be Arrow, you know? Not all of them. They don't all have to be that. You know what I'm saying? But even with power, it gets ridiculous. But I'm like, if they're talking about giving somebody a bionic arm, that's a step up. Yeah, do it. So Please do it. Then. Sure. Yeah. Don't I'm just have them have, like, a, a wooden arm. A wooden, a wooden arm. Please do. He's lying. <laughs> Give us a wooden arm. Hashtag wooden arm. <laughs> no, don't do that. Please do. That's amazing. That's not in the comics. Oh man, I want it to be though. Wow. Uh, that's the best. Imagine Winter Soldier wooden arm. You down for that? Wakanda version? Just a big, <laughs> big piece of if, ivory. If the wood out? is basically like a Groot. No, I can't no. move it all. It's, just, it's like not a sentient. No, it's no. just like a like just a, a log with like an the articulated hand of the uh, what you call it, Adam Sandler movie, the golfing one. <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> Where it's just a chubs. hard piece it's of wood. Chubs. Chubs. Yeah, <laughs> it's that, but uh, it's the whole arm. That so effect. Like... That effect looked better than the sticks nub. For sure. For sure it did. And that was a comedy movie. Yeah, that was convincing. In any case. I love that scene. So, there's also some extra stuff that they give us with, uh, they they hint at some future storylines mm -hmm. other than uh, just that her arm is gone. Danny's in the jumpsuit at the end, the green and yellow jumpsuit. He doesn't got the mask Not still. Yet, but he's, yeah, but they're gonna. They're gonna. They gotta, they're gonna. They gotta do it. Because essentially he's gonna... He's taking he's over. He's taking over Daredevil's role. As because the, at the end of the series, again, spoiler, 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 the building that they blow up for some fucking reason uh, to close the... Remember that massive hole? Yeah. They had to the fill city? that hole with, an, uh, with, a building. with a building. Yeah, and Danny... I not don't that, know. Danny. Danny wasn't in it. I don't know why. Who, I don't know whose idea was like, oh man, this 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 New York movie sure needs a a building blown up, mm -hmm. and then we're supposed to be fine with it. If you think that in any scenario, four people, vigilantes, blow up a building to save us from magical dragon bones, and we're like, yeah, that's fine. Just let them be heroes for hire down the street because they blew up a building no to save us from dragon bones. <laughs> they would be arrested. Come on. They would be arrested. That's what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. Of course, it's a shot at that, man. For sure. sure. But it doesn't have know, to know, not know, make know, sense just because it's a show. You could have decided. You know, similarly to, uh, you know how we were talking about Suicide Squad, how yeah. they should have done, like, street level shit, uh, Instead of the, you know, sorcerer and the beam to the sky. It went from uh, a Netflix to uh, a CW villain. <laughs> yeah, it, it, so I just, I feel like with this thing, they they set their the ideas of their scale very high. This shit's gonna, we're gonna level the entire city of New York. Hey man. And there's fucking mystical they dragon They made an bones. earthquake. They give us mm -hmm. immortality. They, they did make an earthquake. Good that for is them. legit. 
Um, uh, they did make an earthquake, and that's awesome. Uh, but at the same time, I'm like, you don't see any of that stuff really. A lot of the, the a lot of the mystical dragon bones, you see big bones, mm -hmm. but you don't see n nothing mystical about those bones. Okay. You don't even like explain to me how they get the immortality out of the bones. Uh, you, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. Uh, they it, they liquefy it. They liquefy the bones somehow. somehow. Uh, but. Uh, it's it's just very interesting that I feel like all that stuff was unclear. We're just kind of like, all right, cool, mystical dragon bones. They blew up a building to save us, and we're fine with it, I guess. I mean, maybe we're not fine with it. Maybe next season, the thing of is, every show, yeah. everybody's wanted. Because we don't know what the aftermath is. It just seems like a very silly. And then, um, but yeah, they hinted at uh, Jessica's opening her business again. Yeah, Jessica's going back into being a PI, Luke, which I forgot Luke. that he even stopped doing it. Uh, Luke, Luke is going back to Harlem yes. to figure out that he needs to do Heroes for Hire for the... Because I just I don't even know how that it doesn't even make sense to him. Because everyone is literally like, make money off of being a hero. Yeah, like, yeah. watch Luke Cage. Yeah. A thousand people were like, oh man, if only you could make money doing this. Or yeah. I'll pay you if you want. Yeah, I was like... Paying. He's like, man. He's like, I need to figure out how to make money. <laughs> no, I, don't no want that. I can't do this. Um, I can't. I'm a hero in general. Why right. do I just think of it as like donations? Yeah. He was like, I'll even hire you. Ah, no, I don't no, worry no, about it. I'd rather, I, I did this I'd to rather save do you. it for free and then be like, why? I need to make money. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so weird. Important. <laughs> it's so weird. But anyway, he's a he's a saint. He's, he's a gonna saint. go do that. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Danny's gonna take over for Daredevil, and Daredevil wakes up in a monastery mm -hmm. they say hey Maggie he's awake uh, come fucking deal with that shit yeah. and uh, so also we don't know where Elektra is we don't know where Elektra is they didn't say any of that but somehow he made it out alive so she got her is back in a monastery where his mother is mm -hmm. so how'd that happen they were underneath like super far down yeah I don't know I'm not magic man well, you know, magical okay. immortality of Dragon Balls. That's why at this point, if they find Dragon Balls, they'll be like, of course. Of course. But anyway, I mostly liked it. I give it a seven and a half. Out of ten chip chaps. Out of ten chip chaps. Maybe an eight. Because, you know why? Because some of the stuff legitimately made me geek out just to see it. Just to be like, holy shit. Uh, look at them all fighting next to each other and Jessica Jones just pushed a car through a wall as hard as she could. Mm. That's radical. Things like that were really cool so I still give it a beat. I think it did a good job and I want to see what's next but you know it kind of continues the Marvel villain issue that they sometimes have. This is a, an unfortunate example of that. What sucks about some of the Netflix villains is that I mean I'm glad uh I'm glad Kingpin is still mm -hmm. around, but it sucks when you got like, oh, that guy's got Purple Man's gone now. He's gone. Yeah, pr but oh, they said he will still be, be back. back. I'm like, but kind of like, uh, kind of like how Joker was in the last Batman game. Right, right. Just that he's which mine. is fine because it still messes with Jessica. It and does. We still get that character's it presence, does. but. Sure. He is also way too OP to continue to exist in the Marvel Universe and not be in any of the movies. Right. If you have a guy oh, who can no, literally no, no. just tell yeah, people yeah, yeah. to do shit. But it seems like he's, uh, he's like, mm, it's too much. There now, yeah. yeah. But he's too OP not to involve. <sighs> Thanos wouldn't be like, yeah, I need that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't uh, know. He's going to talk for me. When right. I can't be there. Or, you know, why wouldn't Purple Man just show up when Thanos is there and be like, hey man, give me that gauntlet. Yeah, it's my gauntlet, right? Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, see? That's you know, too much. They had to get rid of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and they, um, they did. Yeah. In a um, good way. And Iron Fist's villain was kind of just uh, too vague. I look forward to next season because they've set up the, like, reverse uh, Flash version for Iron <laughs> Fist. The reverse fist. He's good. Uh, reverse fist. Uh, yeah. That's his bad guy. He's like Iron Fist uh, anti-version. I get it. Uh, so that'll be cool, hopefully. And 
hopefully Bullseye and Daredevil. That'd be nice. How about if it's tied to his mom? Fine with that too. And Kingpin's supposed to be involved. I think everybody finds out Matt Murdock is Daredevil next season. They hinted at it so many times in Defenders Ooh, that there's lots. no way Good it's times, not though. the story for I like the how season. they did it, though. I like yeah. how they did it. So, 8, eight out of 10 for me. Uh, I mean? give it, I was going to say 8 originally. When you were going 7.5, I was like, well, I'm saying 8. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Like, it's got issues, but at this point, overall, I enjoyed it more than the issues bothered me. Agreed. And, um, yeah, I look forward to each of the seasons after this. I mean, I did originally, you know, I was always looking forward to Jessica Jones. Just, yeah, two, uh, two, uh, Luke Cage, two. Mm -hmm. And I just two, also. I was looking forward to all of them. But now, after this, even more so. Even more so. Agreed. So, I think that pretty much covers it. So, until the next one, oh, guys. Whoa. Can we talk about Punisher? What, the trailer? Yeah. Uh, no, he didn't. He, they, he John Wick's a skull into some concrete. I'm looking forward to that, and that's in November. It looks like he has a hallway fight with a shotgun. Yep. So, that should be interesting. Nice. Yeah, so anyway, that pretty much covers it. And until next one, guys, stay cheap for chaps, and also stay creamy, and, uh, stay... Hashtag burger Sunday. Burger, stay burger sunday mm. Yeah, I think that, uh... Yeah. That pretty much covers that, right? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that should do it then. Huh? That should do it then. Yeah. <clears throat>